What's up everyone, this is Steve from Frame Stoppers Media and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to use the Photo Summary app. Now, if you're wondering what this app does, this is an app where you can overlay your photo settings over your image. Most people use this in Instagram and other um, you know, photo apps or you, know, you can use it on pretty much any platform and stuff. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the App Store. If you're using an iPhone, Play Store, if you're using an Android and we're gonna download this app. Just search in the search bar for photo summary app. Once it comes up, it's a little blue icon with a camera inside of it. That's the one you wanna download. It costs about $1.99 and I think I highly recommend it because you might be spending more money um, and time trying to edit and put these settings in Photoshop or any other you know editing app and it'll be time consuming. So app configuration is pretty straightforward. All you, you can put your name, your Instagram name, you can put your website you know, your Facebook, your YouTube channel, if you have one. There's many things you could put in here. Um, so this app pretty much takes your metadata from your created image. Now, I highly suggest that this will not work with an iPhone. iPhone, iPhone users, out of luck. It'll only work with DSLR cameras and Samsung devices in Pro Mode. So if you have a Samsung and you're able to turn on that Pro Mode camera feature, you can definitely have your data exported and be in the image and DSLR camera is the same. So I recommend that you go to Lightroom, use Lightroom, edit your image, export it to your phone. You can airdrop it if you're using the Mac ecosystem. And once it's in your photos library, we'll just go ahead and select it here. And once we select the photo, it'll go ahead and pull all your image data and stuff down into the phone. And now you'll be able to get that information into the app. What we do is we're gonna go to settings, we're gonna fill in all our information. You wanna put in your name, you wanna put in your Instagram name. If you have a website, you can input that. You could put your Facebook, input your YouTube. You could also show dates if you want to. Now, you know, you could show the full date or date only, but I choose no to show any dates, so that's totally up to you. You could also show the photo app summary link if you wanna link it so people can find it. That's always up to you, I have that off. And basically all you need to do from here is all you need to do is select your image. So what we'll do is we'll tap on the image and then we'll scroll and look for the image that we, that we took with our DSLR camera, select the image. And as you can see here, it pulled up that image is at F1.4, one one hundredth of a second, and the ISO is 50. So, you know, it also tells you what kind of camera you use. I use the Sony a7 III and the Sony FE 50 millimeter lens that with the 1.4 aperture set okay and now if we click that we snap on it we click done now we're able to put our notes and stuff in there so in the notes you would use to add any extra information maybe if you were using a v flat or you were using a special background or something you know anything you want to input in this that you want to notify that you use you know extra lights extra strobes whatever the case may be um here i'll just put uh I'll put flash and I'll put Godox AD400 Pro and I'll click done. And then as, as you click next, it's generating everything. And now you can see all your images and the overlays are already laid out for you. So they have different types of overlays. You can pick and choose every, any one that you want to. We have from F1, we have um, from transparency to like you know blurred out image you know smashed out background image clear image with fine print and all you need to do now is just click on the one that you want to choose and once you hit it the image is saved to your camera roll and now you could use that overlay to send it over into instagram or any social media app that you choose and want to use and you know it's pretty straightforward so you know it's not hard to use it's very easy so that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you guys learned something and enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing to this channel and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.